Not so, ow! Not so close. Fuck. I burnt right, my man. ass a little. Is there a burn on it? <laughs> Go! Go! Oh! Okay, I'm sorry. I won't do it again. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear. Ow! It doesn't look like my shit's dried at all. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Bottom of my balls are pooey. Um, oh! All it did was heat oh, it up. The, oh, God, don't open the door. All it did was heat it up. Okay, all it did was heat it up. Hey, Meg, it's Kenny. Do you want to come by? Come by the house? Spenny and I are here. Spenny likes you. Kenny! Shit. Hi. How are you? This is in a really good time right now. Is that Meg? Meg, come in! Kenny. You can't leave a girl at the door. Hi, Meg. I'm good, how are you? Good. I don't want her to see me like this. This is Meg. Uh, um. Hi. I wonder where Spenny is. Look, there's his crew. Hey, where's Spenny? Hi. What are you doing? Spenny likes you. He talks about you. What is that smell? You know what, I'm gonna leave you guys alone. How did you come here? Did Kenny call you? Of course I called her. Did he tell you what we're doing? No. He's shitting our pants. I'm sorry. He's using you as a strategy to defeat me in this competition. And it's true that I do think you're very sweet and cute. Well, that's true. You love her? Of course I don't love her. I don't know her that well. I could grow to love her. He used you. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Well, I invited her over. Yes, I used you. But in a good way. Because he has no respect. To... He has no respect for your time. Show her your pants. I don't want to see his pants. No, either. you don't want to see my pants. I don't want to it's see It's very pants. dirty. I'm gonna vomit. I'd like to leave. Okay, I would. I, I don't want you to leave, but I would like you to leave. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, bye guys. Hi, Meg. She's I'm, gonna judge me. Some girl. So you blew it. Why? Well, so, thank you. You, you, know, you didn't do... lose. No, you just made me want to win more. You didn't even tell her about IBS awareness. I should have. You're right. That was a perfect out. It fucking stinks in here, man. She's fucking, she'll never talk to me again. Thanks a lot, Kenny. Your brother is a piece of work. What's the matter? Basically, okay, I know what a laxative feels like. And I have been dosed with a laxative, okay? And I know your brother did it. Basically, okay, I, 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 everything I've eaten has been 100% controlled because I know what a scumbag your brother is, okay? Everything I've eaten, everything I've put into my system. How could he possibly have... I know I'm dosed. I know it. What, I mean, is there any... Don't laugh. Why are you laughing? What is wrong with you, Hotsis? It's not funny. I want to help you, Spenny. Honestly, I just don't know what I can do. Can he okay. miss me? Can he miss... Can he... You can't do it airborne. You can't give somebody like an airborne laxative. It's something you have to ingest somehow. I'm taking a constipation medication, okay? So yeah. whatever this is, is overriding that. I think that's the only thing you can do, is just continue taking your uh, anti-diarrhea medication. I need a washroom. Peekapoo, I see you. Ugh. It's dog shit from the park. Okay, come on. Dude, you just put dog shit in your pants. This is the only way I get comfortable. I'm tired. I didn't sleep last night. I was like worried about this. Spenny and I have done a lot of competitions, and you know, he doesn't really cheat in them. But um, I'm starting not to trust him. You know, he was smart, he rubbed cream on his ass, he's got a safe. Thank you, you. Know, thank how you for do that. I know, thank you for that. How do I know that you have shit in your fucking diapers? Would I be sitting like this if I didn't have real shit yeah, in my diapers? Yeah, because I would do the same thing if I didn't have shit in mine. You're checking my diapers, I should check your That's what diapers. you do. I don't do that. Well, well, let me check your diapers. Do you want to check my diapers? No. Well, go ahead, check my diapers. I don't do Go ahead, sniff it. 
Well, lift your shirt. Okay. How do I know it's how do I know it's real shit? You smell it. Oh, it's so gross. Fuck! What the fuck? <laughs> Dog shit! Have you pulled any out, you fucking lose, because you don't know whether it's real oh, shit or not? Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, jeez! Take this. Somebody take this. Do your jobs! Throw shit at us! Okay, if he pulls any out, he loses. He won't be able to tell the difference between his shit and the dog shit. Is that dog going to the washroom, sir? I would like that. You won't give me? Yes, I seriously want it. Is it a lot? What do you think I'm asking for if I don't want it? <laughs> I want you guys to look for some dog shit. Anybody that sees any dog shit, you tell me immediately. Have you seen any dog shit? Has your dog, uh, has your dog moved its bowels? Where? I need it. Thank you. Ah. Hello. Hello. Sick of this. Well, I think we've hit an all-time low on Kenny versus Benny. Just when you think you've bottomed out, Kenny finds a way to make it worse. There's police there. Am I breaking any laws? Is it illegal to wear a dirty diaper? I guess so. I mean, what about the IBS people? They're walking around with shit. I can't take the dog shit out of my diaper because then my real shit could come out and then he can claim he wine. So now I gotta put shit, dog shit, in his diaper so that we have an even playing field. It's ridiculous. Spenny is gonna be fucking pissed. I don't know where he went, but he's coming back and he's gonna try and do something. And you know what, if Kenny's not home, I'm gonna wait. And I'll wait till the end of time to do this to him. <sighs> I'm ready for him. Okay, all you Kenny fans, I want you to watch very carefully as your little hero is gonna get fucking covered in dog shit. If you think I'm gonna put dog shit in his pants and not be ready for him, you guys are fucked. Okay, here he comes, guys, get back. Get back. Ha uh ha. -huh. Okay, I wanna to talk to you. You're gonna get yeah. covered in shit, Okay, man. one second. Cover! One second. I wanna warn you about something. Warn me about what? Okay, you are about to get fucking covered from head to toe. With what? In shit. So. No, you're about to get covered. What the fuck? I took. Dude. I took a fucking dump in this, and if you fucking touch me... I'm sorry. Okay, no, put that down. Put sorry. that on the floor. Sorry. Put that on the I'm, fucking I'm floor. Sorry. Okay. Whatever. You want to... You Don't go? point it at me. Do not point okay. that at me. Okay. I do really like gorillas, and the gorilla habitat has been dwindling. If only the gorillas had a savior, they wouldn't go extinct. Like, like if they had their own gorilla Jesus. Long ago in Abraham, a monkey messiah was born. He fell from the tree and he landed on the oats. And all the villagers scorned. Monkey Messiah was raised from the dead. He turned the wine into banana schnapps. And everybody started to hail him. Gorilla Jesus was the Jesus ape. He made sure everyone ate some grapes. And then he liked to do gorilla rape. And don't you understand that he did escape the humans? Oh shit, my gloves are off. The humans.
How do gorillas do this? Gorilla Jesus tired. so hot, but this stuff is keeping me cool, but it's still hot under the mask. The attacks are taking their toll. Ow! Ow! Get it! Ow! $10,000 for a gorilla. Damn gorilla! Ow! Fuck! Stop it! Ow! No. Uh, uh. It's too hot. It's too hot. What's with the hat? Uh. What's with the whip? Oh, I'm suffocating in this thing. God. Uh, Kenny, this later, is Gator. honestly the stupidest competition we've ever fucking done. Uh. I say that every week, but this week I mean it. Uh, I need you to sign this. Nope. No? Okay, well then I'm not doing the competition. What do I have to what do I have to say? Very short and very sweet. It says, I, Kenny Hot, swear to you, Spencer Rice, that I have not paid any girls to do anything on this show. If I am wrong, I, Kenny Hots, will pay you, Spencer Rice, that's me, the amount of ten thousand dollars. You think I paid the girls to fuck me? I don't know what you You pay done. girls to fuck you. I don't pay girls I to do fuck not me. Do yes, that. you do. Oh, stop it. Kenny, yes, stop do. lying. There, sign it. I, Kenny Hot, swear to you, Spencer writes that I have not paid any girls to do anything on the show that should actually say paid anything. This isn't even legal. It's I'm like, not a lawyer. I, Kenny Hot, have not paid any girls to do anything on the show. That's all you need. Just, I'll just sign it. Who fucking cares? What, what should I sign? Your name! You know, if Spenny wanted my autograph, he, he could just oh, yeah. ask me off camera. Yeah, could you please to Spenny? Go! There it is. And that's his signature. I don't need to hire the girls. Bullshit. I'm gonna have more sex with the girls than you are. Bullshit. If anything, you need to hire girls. I'm not hiring anybody. You're the one with fucking herpes. If you say that I have herpes, one more time I'm gonna pound you. I do not have herpes. I've never had herpes. You wanna pound me? What? Come on, pound me. Oh, I love God, you. he's wiping a stick on me so the girls can... I love you. He's gonna lose this competition because girls don't like him. The only girls that like him are stupid and dumb and have mental handicap diseases. I'm about to run into a vegetarian restaurant with a turkey leg and a faux fur coat and see if I can piss them off. Hey, is this a vegetarian restaurant? Yes, it is. Why don't you people eat some meat? Why don't you eat some meat? Have some protein. It's not gonna kill you. It actually tastes better when the animals suffer. Eat some veal. Anyone? I don't understand. Why are you not annoyed with me? No one cares. Is it the camera? It's the camera. I told you to hang back and stay outside. Is there another vegetarian restaurant around here? I can't. I'm not going to do this. I just can't do it. It's. Um, it's a winning strategy. There's no question about it. I mean, if I walked around the city like this, I would win this competition. There's no question in my mind. But, you know, what happened? Happened. And it must never happen again. And I am not going to contribute to it in any way, shape, or form, nor make light of it for this show. I'm not doing it.
Was that, did he get pissed off? You know, a, a friend of mine, an artist in Germany, fan of the show, actually made me this t-shirt. Uh, I hope nobody finds uh, me stopping the airplanes from flying into uh, Twin Towers offensive. But um, I want everyone to know that I had a very close friend who died in 9-11. Uh, his name was Mohammed Atta. And um, I miss you, buddy. You should have worn your glasses, man. You need not see that big building. Flew right into it. I'm having a hard time pissing off individuals on the street, so I figure, why don't I piss off the audience? So, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat a big, chunky booger. I am going to eat this huge booger on the count of three. One, two, three. I'm not gonna eat it. How many people are pissed off that they just didn't see me eat a booger? Attack Force One! Paka! Paka! I think the competition's going pretty well so far. All right, boys, it's lunchtime. Oh my god, Korean ribs. Everybody eat. Nobody gives Penny shit. Come on! You're so fucking boring. Do something funny, please. Do you even know what funny is anymore? Oh yeah! Oh, ow! <laughs> oh! Oh! Ah! Oh, steady! It was seven years ago this May. I was lying in bed when Spencer came in. He rolled me on my stomach. Pulled down my gotchies. Stuck out his tongue. Started licking my bum. I was so scared. When I finally did wake up, I knew it was Spenny. He had a thing for cunnilingus in my hole, especially when I was asleep. What was I supposed to do? Just turn over and startle him? Who knows what he would have done? So I lied there and let him do it. He got right in there, cleaned it up good, and then I heard it. <laughs> Broke seven vertebrae in my spine, and I haven't walked ever since. Spitzer Rice. <laughs> Stop filming. Safety is a huge part of wrestling. You don't want to hurt your other guy. A great wrestler is measured by his ability to not hurt the guy he's fighting against. I know that's counterintuitive to what, you know, two guys beating each other up is, but that's what makes it an art form. So I'm going to do a, a drop kick. Okay, very famous wrestling move. And up and down. And... 
a classic maneuver, which is the eye gouge. We're looking for a reaction from you. Very simple, just like this. <laughs> You're overacting. Forearm smash. Very simple, very good. I'd like to demonstrate the camel clutch. Just get on your stomach. Easy. The camel clutch was mastered by the great Iron Sheik. Uh, simply the camel clutch is this. I grab the neck and pull back on the back. And do a lot of this. The Sheik used to do this. It's a Zaheel move. He's feeling it on his back right now. He's going to submit. They call the match. It's over. Even though Spenny's getting the fucking shit abused out of him, this fucking sucks. What are you complaining sucks. about? What are you complaining about? I cannot believe how this thing is going your way. And every time I try to tattle on you, I get more trouble. You can't tattle, man. It's a catch-22. Anyways, at this point, it's too late. Whatever I say, he's not going to believe. It's like the guy's never seen our show. Holy smokes. He's never seen the show. Like, you know, everybody knows that you're a scam artist. It's unbelievable. When you're getting married, and settle down. When you're gonna die? Soon. Well, that's when I'm gonna get married, when you're dead. I have to masturbate. It is not a choice. If I didn't masturbate, I would be probably a serial killer or something like that. And I'm not even kidding. It sounds like I'm a pervert, but I'm not. I need it. It's fucking stress release. That's my thing, okay? If I don't have a girlfriend, I have to do that. And I have to do it semi-regularly. And I don't think it's abnormal. And I don't think I'm a freak. And I don't mind talking about it because I think it's healthy. It's my right. I have that right. It's probably in the Constitution somewhere. Not literally, but the right of, you know, to have the right over your own body to do what you want. Because that stuff builds up in you and it's not healthy after a while. I don't think it is. It's actually for my mental health. And I'm not kidding. I'd have trouble sleeping if I didn't do it. And sometimes in the morning, too. It's a good way to start the day. What is he telling? Diddler on the roof. gonna work this is ridiculous I, 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 I this is like uh, no matter what I do here it's gonna seem like I'm making fun of it or it's gonna seem like a comedy this look good move to your right just a couple feet a bit more I'm gonna shake my head like is that okay do I look uh, yeah. upset This isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work. I'm out of here. Let's just go. Forget it. I have no business. I have no business doing a TV show and filming here. I don't. 
uh, I'm not comfortable with that. So cut the cameras. And I don't want any of this in here. Okay. Look, we're the party squad, guys. Like, we got a fucking party. Party squad, party squad. A little higher. Party squad. <clears throat> I need some water. You get water if you do it right. <clears throat> okay. Party squad, party squad. A little bit more higher. Yeah, right? a little Get higher. Yeah, I'm yeah, doing it right. Okay. Squad. 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 One, two, three, four. Party squad is the newest band in town. Wow, wow, wow. Party squad, party squad, party squad, party squad, party squad. If you're looking for a band to do your party, hire party squad. If you're looking for a band that's really naughty, call a party squad. In the squad, we have a rod, we have a guy with a stick, we have Jeff on the drum, so you know what that means. He can't clap, but that's okay. We're the party squad, the party squad. Come and come and come and hire party squad. Party squad with a new band of town. We're the hippest, coolest band in the land. Party squad. Party squad with the greatest band. We might as well be called Beatles too. Showboating a little too much there, Jeff. Simmer it down, dude. We're, we're a band, okay? The party squad. Brian, I love you, but you fucking suck on the sax. I don't think you've done much practicing on that. Catherine, you're okay. You're just kind of pounding, though. Like, you got to do, like, you know, like melody and stuff. And stop, don't sing the chorus anymore. Singing? Yeah, stop, stop singing. Well, I don't have any, but I don't have vocal training, so I never sing, sang in my life. So. Well, then well, you shouldn't be singing then. Party squad, party squad, don't you want us at your party? This is our, this is our, this is our new band. This is our new band. The more they dislike me, the more chance I have of winning. But you are the kind of person that I would imagine could possibly drown, and I think nine out of ten people would, so you shouldn't play jokes like that. Don't do that! Okay, I'll be fine. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Hey. Yeah, I think Spunny took off. Like, for real, took off. We were just in the park and he walked away. We don't even know where he is. But I don't know what the fuck to do. Ben, where are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing? Guys, 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 cut the fucking camera. I don't feel like being on television when I'm this stoned. I don't, okay? And I have to continue getting more stoned if I want to win the competition. Wait, We've been shooting for fucking hours. Hours. Are you selling stuff on the side? <laughs> Bootlegs? I don't want to be on television stoned. So I can't win the competition. If you guys are constantly televising me doing it, you guys are what's in the way of me fucking winning and I'm realizing that now. It's very simple to understand. Ben, Spanny. Hey! Hey, hey. 
What's going on? I thought you needed some cheering up. Oh my god. <laughs> I have brought him five kittens. Where'd you get the kittens? This one's named Neezers. I'm calling him Neezers. Kenny. Kenny, close the door. Neezers. Hey, what is going on? Ow, ow, ow! Okay, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, you have to take them away. I love them. I'll fall in love with them and then what? I'm in no condition. Come on, Mr. Kitty. One cat prisoner has been arrested. Ow! He <laughs> bit me! Don't you? No. How many cats showed up? Five or six? I don't know. Six. I wasn't expecting cats. How many did I have? Five. We're missing a cat! You're missing a cat! You're missing a cat. You're a downer. Please, I just, I, have no, I can't. It's in this room and we have to find it. No, it's a fucking it's, you cat. have to find it. No, you have I to find it. I have nothing to do with cats. If you have a chance to save a kit and you're not going to save it. It's a good point. Which one's missing? Measers? What were you thinking? Measers. 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 Where are the fucking cats? I have no sh oh, are, are you, you insane? Cats? I have no legal rights. This is not my situation. How many cats you brought are in these there? wonderful creatures How many cats into my life? No, no, no. Kenny, this isn't my problem. It is not my Come problem. Come on, get the cat. I need them out of my room. I am way too high to deal with this right now. Holy shit. Okay. Gotta get rid of these cats. This plan is backfired. Oh my god, they're all. No. They're all in here. You know how hard it's gonna be to find a kitten in this house? My plan was to. Uh, pretend that I had six cats when I only had five. Measers! I, I think it's five. I don't know if I'm doing a, like a, like a abusing Spenny now, or I really had You brought them five, up. Five, well, yeah, how, how many, many cats, cats? did you bring up? You didn't let us see them. You just brought the basket up. I, I think it's five. I'm pretty sure it's five, but if, keep an eye out for a kitten, because that would fucking suck.